good day folks uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, joining us today we have with us nadir hasan um, and without having me to introduce him i'll let him have the opportunity to get started so nadir if you can tell us a little bit about yourself first yeah absolutely uh, assalam alaikum first of all assalam alaikum everybody assalam alaikum saad uh, i think i can get i can start from the beginning i've uh, i'm from pakistan but i've lived primarily most of my life in abu dhabi uae and uh, about 10 years ago i came here uh, to do my university education uh, uh, to pursue a, uh, a degree in computer engineering at uft and uh, after spending five of the toughest years of my life like uh, i i alhamdulillah finally got it uh, and that was done and now as once we graduated a few uh, me and a few friends we basically uh, started our um, first startup first company and uh, this was basically an app that we uh, were decided uh, we're thinking of making it was uh, uh, an event technology app so it, will, it was basically based around conferences so let's say you go to a conference you want to find the right person you could take out our app and you would see everyone on the app and you could sort of swipe right or left on who you think would be a good match to talk to for that conference and uh, it was pretty good like we took the app for uh, a really long uh, we we ran that for a while uh got a bunch of conferences that we did uh, and uh, after a while we realized like oh, most of the founders uh, the of the three founders two were international students and like we have this restriction that you have to work a certain number of years to get your pr so we disbanded it but uh, the learning op- uh, opportunity was amazing we took it to dragons den which was amazing like uh, that really showed us like how intense some of these uh, situations can get in front of investors Uh, after that i worked for a bunch of companies like for an actual event company then a few start a few more startups uh, that i worked for one was a dental uh, tech startup then we had a, a marketing chatbot startup um, and uh, during this time uh, me and a very close family friend uh, he, uh, he basically brought me on board uh, as a t- technical co-founder and uh, i was basically brought on to sort of uh, build, bring their vision to life which was uh, another app this was called boutique the goal here was uh, you were going to have uh, uh, e- e-commerce on steroids so let's just say you're sitting in your ho- home and you wanted to basically find all the closest shoes near you so you could just take out the app and it would sort of show you all the shoes in the nearby stores and you can just walk up and pick it up from them that was pretty nice uh, again this was nice cuz like i now this one i saw this uh, app i kind of built it um, from scratch there was a lot of learning there and uh, uh though we couldn't really uh, uh, pursue it uh, as much cuz growing the business we realized it was super hard cuz th- that's i think when we learned it's so hard to have uh, platforms where at one side you have to have when vendors on boarded with products and then on the other side you have to get customers on boarded so you always have to play this catch 22 uh, uh problem where like customers are not going to be happy if you don't have the products and the vendors are not going to be on boarded if you don't have the customers so that's a and that's when we realized it was a lot of work uh doing that so that one was sunsetted and afterwards i joined uh, my current co- the company where i'm at right now thompson uh, oh actually before that um, uh, i was actually i started a third uh, app company this one was a project for myself and uh, not really something that i wanted to turn into a startup but more for more for passion project and this is uh, where i met you sada for uh, doing our our times with um, the the oh, computer yeah, yeah oh i see exactly that was a it was a lot of fun there um, and essentially i in my free time i do a lot of uh, art and sketching so i uh, do a lot of like and it, the this technique is sorry not technique this uh, activity is called urban sketching so it's a method of you know let's say you're in a park you're in a, a very busy sort of play uh, uh, area you can just sort of sit down take your sketchbook out and sort of draw what you see so i do that quite a bit and i thought you know why not just make like a platform where like uh, people from all around the world could sort of pin where what they've made in different parts of the uh, the world uh, on a huge map and this way like you know as a when you put your stuff uh, people from around the world can sort of critique your art and then you could see what other people have made from other corners of the world so that was essentially that idea which i i, I took to the to to that competition and uh, it was pretty good like i uh, this was the first time i also was building everything from scratch for front end back end and like uh, doing a, a ux ui marketing sales and uh, getting all of that stuff uh, built out it was a lot of work but alhamdulillah i got it running it was the app was running so now the thing is the app is uh, sort of running it's out there i mainly come in to do bug fixes uh, there are times when like the app breaks that's when i come in uh, to do it but uh, uh it's sort of just on its own um the one thing i do like about it like i sort of treat, treat it as my showcase for good technical architecture so like how an app should be built how the back end and services and the, that layer should be built out it's fully serverless and nicely built out so that was a 
I think, and that's uh, and the only reason this was able, I was able to do that was because of the first two startups. All the learnings that came from that uh, were pretty much uh, in this one. So that was basically that startup. And nowadays I'm at uh, a company called Thomson Reuters. Uh, a few of you, a few people may know about uh, Reuters, the news agency. So basically, they're uh, one of our, uh, uh, I guess, brands that uh, we have. And the goal of Thomson Reuters is basically to, uh, we have a lot of law products, a lot of tax products, and a lot of news products. So my goal here is I'm a team lead, and my primarily primary work is uh, designing a technical architecture. So making sure that if let's say we're building out a new capability for our team. How do we architect in such a way it's easily scalable across the whole organization? So that's uh, what I'm working on. And on the side, I'm uh, I've started getting into 3D printing. So if you can see from the back, there's one running there. Like uh, that's uh, been keeping me busy quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. If uh, no one's tried it, definitely grab one. It's uh, you will <laughs> it'll take up all your free time. Amazing. So you've kind of covered everything that I wanted to ask you, other than the one question that I do have. Uh, you came in as an international student, and then you moved into entrepreneurship, a very unheard of thing. Uh, what is, uh, and based on that and all the other things that you have experienced in the last 10 years, what would be your advice to folks who are coming in either as international students or just coming into the country? I think uh, so there's uh, two things I would definitely mention. One, one part is uh, if for pe people who are coming in, uh, startups are definitely one of the best uh, places or, or, or doing or starting your own or joining one is probably one of the best ways of uh, uh, coming in or integrating to the community. A lot of this has to do with like, first of all, there's a, like the culture is a lot more relaxed. It's a more, a lot, and it's a really good way of making friends, a lot, a lot of good ways. Of, and the learning is insane. Like uh, every, uh, it's definitely going to be a bunch of hard uh, months, very, uh, hard, hard few times that, you know, you literally have to build everything from scratch, late hours and stuff. But what happens is after that, everything becomes easier. Cause like you, whatever situation that you get put into, um, those situations are just a lot easier to manage, a lot easier to do. And um, like getting into a corporate company, like you're just mainly, there's nothing new that you would learn, but you're just basically be taking what you learned in the startup and then implementing it in more of a corporate basis. That's the first thing. Second thing is more something that uh, I guess the, if people want to read about it, this is uh, in the, uh, it's called Shuhari. Uh, it's from, uh, uh, it's an old Japanese martial arts saying, I believe, I think that's what it is. But the, the learning is pretty interesting. It's basically the first part of anything that uh, what people want to pick up is to learn whatever skill that you want to do. So if, if let's say people are changing the skill, they're going into technology. A lot, like a lot of people that I know, they're moving into uh, programming and stuff. So definitely learn and definitely spend your time and learn what you're doing. Uh, then the second part is uh, the ha, which is mastering that skill. Whatever you're doing, uh, taking it to a level where like you become uh, a person, uh, a specialist at it. You understand the nitty gritty details. And this is, I think, even for when we now, when you look at jobs and stuff, you realize like this is where this is what's going to take you to the next level with like more advanced, like the senior level uh, positions. And the last part is this is when you transcend all of that. And that's the re, which is breaking all the rules. So this part is essentially where you become more of a thought leader because you, un you understand the skills so well. Uh, that now you can get into more of the thought leadership part and like guide people or maybe what we're doing is not the best uh, approach and the better and guide people like, okay, these are better practices. This is how we guide uh, uh, like the future of this, uh, whatever technology or skill that you're working with. I think those two are probably the primary, skill, primary things I would uh, recommend everybody. Perfect. Thank you so much uh, for all that really good insights into entrepreneurship, into startup life, and also your initial years in Canada. Hopefully others who watch this will be able to take some inspiration. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time out and sharing your journey today. Another, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Allah